Hello guys and welcome back. You know, autumn is far and away my favorite season. And I know that's kind of become somewhat of a cliche, especially people in New England saying, oh, I love autumn, give me my pumpkin spice latte. But the truth is, it's one of the reasons that I remain in New England. I mean, there is nothing quite like the feel of the crisp air, the way that just everything sort of changes around you and, and the landscapes that you thought you knew just become almost unrecognizable. It's an amazing thing. If you haven't made it up here, I really suggest that you do sometime in the fall. A lot of people really hate the cold, and to be honest with you, below 30 degrees, I'm right there with you. But there's something about the mid 50s on a sunny day that just feels like heaven to me. Plus, it makes wearing leather and flannel that much more appealing. As a matter of fact, I would argue that autumn is the best time for dressing well especially when you're looking to dress ruggedly because you can layer up, you can, you can put different things together and not worry about sweating your butt off or worrying about being so cold that you have to put on a giant jacket over it. It's the perfect time for layering and that's what we're gonna get into today. So really, dressing well in the autumn is pretty damn easy. So let's add a couple more challenging elements to this. Let's say one store, one complete outfit, including outerwear and shoes, and all the other accessories that go with it under $1,000. And trying to keep everything as made in USA as possible, or at least made in a country that uh, has a high standard of production. What do you think about that? Difficult? Yeah, maybe. But there was really only one store that I could think of where you could get all of these things in one place. And that place is called Huckberry. And I've covered Huckberry on this channel before. The great thing about that store is that, well, they began online, now they have a brick and mortar shop, but they carry a lot of the brands that you know and love under one roof. So you have all of these different brands like Whites, like Red Wing, like Stetson, like Taylor Stitch. I, I could go on and on. Leatherman, I mean, anything you want, you can find over there. And they have everything from clothing to gear. I mean, really, it's like it's like a, a toy store for somebody like me and probably somebody like you. So this was one of the only places that I could think that I could probably get every single item that I would need under $1,000, including outerwear and boots and all that stuff, and have it look cool, especially for the autumn. So that's exactly what I did. I headed to their New York City store, which is their only brick and mortar, began as a pop-up, now it's a permanent fixture. I grabbed myself a free beer from the cooler by the door. Seriously, you can go in there and get a free beer while you're looking around. Isn't that awesome? Uh, and honestly, I was spoiled for choice. Now, they have much more on their website, of course, than they have in their store, but you can order anything that you want in the store or have it delivered to your house, whatever you want to do. But it's a great place to actually try these things on. And for guys like me who have a little bit of an issue with fit a lot of the time, uh, it was a great opportunity to do that. So I did. And I found a ton of stuff. I found more than I thought I would need. As a matter of fact, I ended up buying a hammer there too because they had such a cool looking hammer and I'm doing some framing. So I was like, cool, let's buy a hammer. But I did find uh, a great outfit that I think you're gonna like. And if you don't like the whole thing together, well, and then you don't have to buy it. You could buy one or two or three parts of it and put it together with different things. But the great thing here is that all of these little items can be layered. And as a matter of fact, I even went with a thicker second layer to put under the jacket, which will really allow this thing to do, you know, service down into the 30 degree mark. So let's, let's get right into the pieces. Let me explain to you what I got. Starting at the top, that hat is by Stetson, made in the USA. This is the Langston, which is actually an exclusive collaboration between Huckberry and Stetson. It goes for $119. It's wool felt. It has great venting eyelets at the top. It's crushable, which means that you can go ahead and stuff it in a pack and then take it out, and it'll kind of reclaim its shape. It's, it's great for that kind of thing. It has a 3.5-inch brim, which is a little bit bigger than a typical fedora that you would see, but not quite in cowboy territory just yet. Now, the great thing about one of these is that it's actually meant to do work outside. So like I mentioned, it has those venting eyelets at the top, which allow the, the heat to escape from your head. It also has a leather strap that comes down and you could actually cinch it up underneath your chin. Now, if you don't want to use that strap, you could go ahead and get rid of it like I have here and just tie it up behind. But it's nice to know that it's there for if you are actually doing some hiking or working outside. As a matter of fact, Stetson began as a workwear company to protect the people during the gold rush, to protect them from the sun and the elements and all that stuff. So if you're going to use this thing hard the way a Stetson should be used, well, then they have that leather strap there. 
Moving downward, we have the Flint and Tinder Waxed Trucker Jacket. Now, this thing is awesome. I really think this is kind of like the gem of the bunch, and I've worn it so much since I got it. It's $240. It's made out of 7-ounce sailcloth from New Jersey, which is waxed on both sides with Martexan wax. It has a striped blanket lining. It's made in the USA, and it's extremely comfortable. The nice thing about this is that it's cut nice and trim, but not too trim that you can't layer underneath it. And that's what I want to get to next. Next up, we have the Flint and Tinder 10-Year Hoodie. If you throw this thing on underneath that wax trucker jacket, you're going to be good through, I mean, really, honestly, through most winters if you really wanted to. The price is $108, and I know that seems expensive for a hoodie, but let me explain it to you. First of all, this was made in the USA. It's made out of 23-ounce fleece from South Carolina. It has YKK zippers. It has a neat interior pocket for your phone or whatever you want to throw in there. It has a double-lined hood, and it has a slim and structured fit, which is unlike any hoodie I've ever worn in the past. So it's very interesting because most hoodies sort of fit like pajamas. This, on the other hand, is nice and structured, and it actually wears a little bit more like a jacket. So on its own, it doesn't look so sloppy. It's definitely the most robust hoodie I've ever felt. It's, it's pretty incredible, to be honest with you. And if you were to layer this underneath almost any jacket, you would take a three-season jacket and push it straight into four-season territory. Moving on down, we have the Flint and Tinder 365 pant. These are in charcoal. They go for 98 bucks. They're 98% cotton and 2% spandex out of an eight ounce fabric. And that sort of tells you a little bit more about it, which is that they have a little bit of stretch to them. Now, these aren't super duper stretchy, but they are stretchy enough so that you can definitely feel the difference, that they don't pull very much. If you go ahead and squat down, they don't pull anywhere. They're actually just, just a nice looking, nice fitting and nice feeling chino. They're great. I mean, I I think that a charcoal pant is one of the most versatile things that you can wear because you can put it with so many different colors. As you can see here, I have it with brown and green and it, it looks right at home. Now, they're not going to jump out at you with their how bold and brash and how colorful they are. But in a way, that's kind of what I like about pants is that they sort of blend into the background. And if you're looking to get away from, you know, your standard denim, well, this is a great option. Up next is the Welland Slub Flannel, and this, I, I love this color, it's palm green, and to be honest with you, that's what really drew my eye to it. It basically jumps off the rack, you know, I mean, a lot of colors that I'm using here, charcoal, brown, things like that, they blend into the background, so you need something to give it a little bit of pop. And green is a wonderful earth tone. I just, I love the way this thing looks. That color just really got to me. I love it. It's made out of 100% organic cotton. The cool thing about Wellen is that they're all about sustainability, using organic cotton and stuff that you can feel good about. You know, if you're somebody who really is, is concerned about the environment and stuff, well, then Wellen is probably a great option for you. The price is $88. Okay, on down to the feet. Now, socks are probably the least interesting thing you can wear, in my opinion. I think that they are a very important piece, no doubt about it, but they're boring. So that's why I don't usually cover them on this channel. So I had to find something special to, to talk about because most socks are kind of the same. These are the American Trench socks. And what they actually have, they're a, a merino activity sock with silver woven into the toe and into the heel. Why would they have silver? Well, silver is naturally antimicrobial, so the idea here is not only do you have merino wool, which is already antimicrobial, you also have silver in there, which will just help you a lot with any kind of odor or just keeping that funk off of your feet. Now, these go for $19.50. They're made in the USA, and they're, they're very comfortable. American Trench is a very small brand. I think they're based out of New Jersey, and I've wanted to cover their stuff in the past. This is my third pair of socks from them, and when it comes to socks, as I mentioned, I usually think they're pretty damn boring. These may change your mind. Okay, on down to the boots, and as you know, I'm a boot snob. There are so many great boots out there, but to keep things affordable, how do we do that? How do we keep things cool, rugged, but still not breaking the bank. As we mentioned, we're trying to stay under $1,000 here. Well, this is one brand that I've wanted to try since I saw them, and I believe they are a Huckberry exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really sure. But I listed them a long time ago in my more affordable alternatives to the Iron Ranger. These are Blake stitched, which means that they're actually more flexible than a Goodyear welted boot, but still resolable. And a lot of people, you know, they, there's a lot of hate, unfair hate in my opinion, 
put on the Blake Stitch, and I think an unfair amount of praise bestowed upon the Goodyear welt. Not many of us are really walking through water enough that a welt is going to make a huge difference. So if you're like the 95% of people who just doesn't care but they want a flexible, comfortable boot, Blake Stitched is more than sufficient. And as a matter of fact, these are a great transition boot. If you're coming from the world of sneakers to boots, since they won't be as stiff as some of the Northwest work brands that you know, a day-night style sole keeps it sleek. Now, this style of sole doesn't have a ton of traction, but for most people walking on the asphalt and on the concrete and onto the bus or the subway, whatever it is, it's going to be just fine. A sleek yet rugged boot with a price tag that's easy to love at $220. This is the color Rust. It has a calfskin upper, a Texton anti-shock insole. Unfortunately, at this price point, you're not going to see a whole ton of leather in there. That's just kind of the way it goes. They're made in Portugal, and to be honest with you, I think that they're a decent option at the about $200 price point. So all of this, the boots, the socks, the pants, the jacket, the hoodie, the shirt, and the hat come out to $892 thereabouts. So you still have a little bit of extra money to play with. And as I mentioned, I picked up a hammer. So there you go, which leaves us with another, like, what, $50? Another great thing that you could get from Flint and Tinder is one of their Supima Air Knit Tees. Now, I have one of these, and they're awesome, super duper soft, and I think you can get, like, three for 75 bucks. So there you go, an entire outfit full-on rugged style for the fall from one place for under $1,000, including outerwear and boots. And as you know, it's very easy to spend over $1,000 on just outerwear or just boots. I mean, the two together can, can I mean, $500 for each, you can get a great pair of uh, whites or you can get yourself some awesome Harris tweed. You can push things as far as you want. But I've been listening to you guys in the comments and you want more budget-friendly options. That's what I've tried to do here. So whether it's that wax trucker jacket or whether it's that Stetson or these pants or those boots or that shirt, you can take any of those things and run with it. To be honest with you, I really think that Flint and Tinder is one of those brands that's overlooked by a lot of different people who are, they, they look at the price and they say, ah, it can't be that great. A lot of this stuff is extremely nice, will wear extremely nicely, and it'll look even better. I mean, that wax trucker jacket, it's like patina central. It's going to look better next year than it did this year. That's the whole idea is stretching a dollar and being able to have this stuff so your price per wear goes down. You can wear it year after year after year. So guys, let me know what you think. What's your favorite thing to wear for the autumn months? Let me know in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.